already familiar with how to write comments in C sharp code. We can do single line comments with two slashes and we can do block comments with a slash asterisk to lead and a asterisk slash to end. And so we might use that block comment to remove some code that we don't want to use anymore but, but we don't want to necessarily get rid of it for reference purposes. But if you tried either of those methods in XAML, you know that it doesn't work. So how do we write comments in XAML? Well, it's the same as HTML if you've done any web development. So we have an opening tag for our comment of a less than exclamation hyphen hyphen and then an ending tag of hyphen hyphen greater than. We can create comments outside of tags. So in this case, the tag here of this is the cat slider is outside or between the horizontal stack complete tag and the slider completed tag. In the same way, we can use this to comment out a block of code as I did here with the label control. And again, we might want to leave that in there just for reference purposes rather than erase it. So the comments are a great use for that. But what you cannot do is put a comment in the middle of a tag. So you'll get an error if we try to add this comment here after the height request. It's always good to put comments in your code, both in your C Sharp and your XAML code. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.